Smashing. Hello, everybody. It's your old pal Slow Smashing with another fantastic tale of smashing and bashing. It's slow motion. And in this tale, Sendero, Sendero, Sendero. We're going to ditch the stock wheels for something a little bit different. But first, check out my smashing creativity on the Sendero. Not quite scale, but definitely cool, yeah. Or maybe there's a real life Jeeper Creepers truck like that and you saw those things hanging on there. Yeah, I'd stay away from them. It feels like a real life full scale. But like I said, new tires right here, so we're gonna get this out of the way because we just like to repurpose and get new wheels. Yeah, and tires. So yeah, I'm, I'm deflowering the old Gen 8 axe right there and using those beadlock wheels on there because they're decent, but I'm putting some cool aluminum ones and better tires on there. But I'm going to repurpose those wheels and show this little how-to how these things go on because it's like these beadlocks are different than other aluminum beadlocks. I just wanted to show that real quick. And more so aside from these new Sendero wheels that were on the X, I want to go over these Hyrax clones right here. So these are the clone Hyraxes that they say they're okay. They got a really aggressive pattern on, on there. I like them. I changed the foams up and used them from like a different rig because they were softer than the hard foams that came in these Hyrux clone tires. So we're going to get those on and show how I did one wheel real quick and then we're we'll do a little smashing action. Yeah, bouncy, bouncy. All right, so got one of the tires right here. I got the back end right here. You're just going to unscrew them going like in a cross pattern right there and take them all out. And do make note on these particular beadlock wheels, the front piece and the back piece are different. Just being the back piece is a little bit fatter, whereas this one's a little bit fronter. So you don't want to mix those up, I don't think. And the screws on here, they're look, check that out right there. A little like really pointy right here. Um, they just help bite down on there on the rubber, I guess, with the in these case of these wheels right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and take them out. And then once all screws out, you just pop it out. See how this one's all nice and fat right there? I like to like label mine right there. That's why I know which way it goes into which. All right, and boom, there's the front side all screws out right there. And this just comes out like that. And you see it's a little bit thinner than the other one. That's just the thinner front and the thicker back right there. It got junk in the trunk. And I just, like I said, I like the market so I know which one's going to which when you're just multi tap and then once you got all the rings out, you just kind of just punch it all out right there. And you see how it just comes out the other end. Some tires are easier than others, I guess. And then there's the main wheel piece right there. And then here's the stock tire right here. And these foams right here are pretty soft, what I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to take them out. I'll show you the other foams real quick. All right? See, these are pretty soft right here. And then you got these foams right here. They're like stiff. They're really hard. It came with those Hyrex clones. So I'm going to switch them out. All right, so you're gonna want to suck the tire in, put the rim in the middle right there. You see the lips right here. This is the front right there. They got like those little grooves in there. You're gonna want to seat the lip inside those little grooves before you put the rings on. This is prep, and then there's a the back right there again. The grooves, seat them in there. You've got them nice in those little grooves right there. Then you're gonna get the right wing. In this case, it's gonna be the back. So you want the fatter piece right there, and line it up with the little holes right there. And then you're gonna take a little screw right there. And what I like to do, since these wheels are plastic, I have to use a little bit of crazy glue. This is a tiny bit just to keep it from like backing out or anything since you can't use like thread locker since that's for metal. Then you just kinda of wanna do the first screw. And when you get that in there, nice and tight, go ahead and do a cross pattern. And then keep once they're all done right there, just go ahead and like give them their final tightness so they're nice and snug. And then with the front piece, you do the same thing. Put them in the grooves, line up the holes, and just cross the red, put a little glue. That's up to you. Boom, and then they're all mounted right there. And then look, I got the Sendero right there ready, except this new shoes right there. Here's like the original stock wheels right here. Quick comparison of the Hyrex clones right here. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. You be the judge though right there. I think it's gonna look good, but let's go ahead and do that right now, right, Pennywise? Yeah! Boom, and there it is right there with the wheels on right there. Uh, they look good aesthetically. I just gonna go ahead and put them to the test though. So let's find out. Do a little smashing action. Na 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 now. Smashing.
welcome back. Hope you all enjoyed the smash in action with this new uh, customized kind of with a Pennywise clown on it. The stock wheels have a really shallow offset and the wheels on the um, uh, the X, the X, X wheels are a little bit like uh, deeper in there, had a deeper offset. Um, so I had some wheel hubs, I put them on there, I got them just barely to clear, they still rub a little bit. I was going to fix them up, but you know, since these tires don't, they're a little tiny bit better, I'd say, a tiny bit better. They look cooler. I actually like the look of these better, these style tires. They grip maybe a little bit better uh, than these. I think I'm going to put these back on and maybe just get some better like Proline tires and put it on, use them on these wheels since they got that crazy offset instead of just getting like an adapter and working that out to where it's just clearing perfectly. So having said that, I think I'll use these on one of my um, cheaper rigs or just downscale them to another truck that has even worse tires. But you all let me know what you think about it downstairs in the comments below. Would you keep them or would you just like demote them to a lesser rig or just chuck them in the trash? I don't know. But until next time, smash your bell, smash your thumb, subscribe if you may had to already because we are Clone, a Clone Hyrex and the Sendero smashing out.